You want us to work on Christmas Eve? Sure we will, work. December 24 and 31 has always been a non-working day in our country but just this year our president announced that it will be a special working holiday, so it is still up to the company if they will have work on that day or not. When our company announced that we will have a full day of work on the 24th the employees weren't happy. We didn't have work on that day even before the oldest employee in the company have started working, working for the company for 40 plus years already, and most employees already had plans set up for that day. After back and forth meetings with the union, the company finally gave in and agreed to have only a half day of work on the 24th. Employees are still not happy but we took that as a win. Now to the malicious compliance. Each department in our company can choose any day in December to celebrate their Christmas party. The party can last half a work day and the employees will still be compensated as long as the party is held in the office. So today is December 24th and we will all have our Christmas party. As agreed, department Christmas parties are company time so it will still be credited as us going to work. Merry Christmas. Edit. Someone suggested I add this. Some of you have said that this is still a win for the company. I don't think it is because in the prior years most departments will not use the allowed half-day Christmas party and would just do it after work or on weekends because parties here tend to be super loud. Karaoke. But since we are forced to work this morning we all just decided to have a party now. Someone brought a portable karaoke and it is loud. Another edit. The president I was talking about in the first paragraph is the president of the country. November 2nd, December 24th and 31 used to be a special non-working holiday, meaning companies don't have work that day. For those who need to work that day they are entitled to an additional 30% of the basic rate. He suddenly changed it this year to a special working holiday. So it's still a holiday but we need to go to work and we don't get the additional 30% pay just the basic rate. Pretty stupid if you ask me. Meanwhile the president I was talking about in the comments who joined our party is the president of our company, sorry for the confusion. What specific, concrete, tangible work was planning to be done for four hours on the 24th? What is, would have been, the net output of work, product, service? Did sea level management work on the 24th? This year my boyfriend's company decided to let everyone go home at midday on the 24th. He, like everyone, assumed this would mean just a couple hours work. Nope. He has to start at 6 a.m., usually starts at 9, so they can squeeze every last second of time out of their employees. I'm a contractor, and we don't get invited to my employer's Xmas party. OTOH, I saved up three weeks vacation and damn straight am gonna use it now. I worked for a company that asked us to work Christmas Eve one year. All the machines were shut down for repair and maintenance, so there wasn't anything much we could do. I got my team to do some cursory final cleanups, then we sat around audibly talking about our Christmas plans for a couple hours. Then I sent everyone home and sat at my desk for however many hours waiting for the CEO to leave. Stupid waste of everyone's time. Wouldn't have had to pay everyone if they let everyone take leave as planned. Sounds like the president actually got what he wanted. He asked for a full work day knowing the union would settle for half, but seriously, how does a union not push back on this to keep the 24th fully off? Now you have the party on the 24th instead of earlier in the week and everyone works the full days prior to the 24th. Wow. Used to work Thanksgiving Day and all day Christmas Eve until 7pm. Advice? Don't work retail. When I read, special working holiday, I instantly knew you were from the Philippines lol. Making the 24th and 31st special working holidays is still one of the dumbest things our inept excuse of a president has done during this pandemic, and he's done a lot of dumb things. It continues to amaze me the cold-blooded way humans are treated at work after the shitshow of life in a pandemic. The management could have actually treated the staff W gratitude. Nope. Come in even though you never have before because, well because we are the very smile with horns. This doesn't sound like malicious compliance, but instead exactly the intended outcome. They still get a full extra work day out of you, since instead of taking the half day on another date, it's on Christmas Eve. Ah, anti-work. I've worked in medical office settings and don't understand half days on Christmas Eve. This is still a win for the company. By the sounds of it, you were getting the one half day party anyway, and they were going to pay you for it. They probably think it is better for them you take the party on the holiday or a weekend, and they succeeded. I've only seen the term, special non-working holiday, used here. So, ph. Sounds like management needs to be visited by a few spirits. I'm surprised your company has a union. 
As we're both from the Philippines, you know that unions here are very much frowned upon. Context for non-Filipinos, unions here are allegedly part of the communist insurgency i.e. government red tagging legit labor groups. Good on you for pulling this off. Parang tanga kasing may pasok pa ng 24. Pero holiday pa rin naman last December 8. Parang mas tanggap kong December 8 then a lang san a special working day than 24 pa ginawang ganon. I've always looked at Thanksgiving and Christmas like this in the workplace. Are you paying me for a day off? Yes. Cool. I'll come in and work a whole day and get paid double time. You're not paying me for either of those days unless I come into work. Sorry mate, I'm sleeping in and laying around. I'm curious, is your president 30? So, they took away your Xmas party and made you all come in on your day off to have it. My father had an office job that was a long commute. He was not into parties but they would make him come in just to have an office party Christmas Eve morning. He would then have the long drive home just annoyed over the whole thing but he wanted to be the loyal employee. When he was 62 they shut down his whole department. He was bitter as he hoped to stay longer. He told me to never be loyal to a company. Medio gago talaga yung 24 and 31 brad. Puta banco pa ako kaya wala talaga, pasok kung pasok. Duterte would have to be one of the lowest levels of scum shit to walk the face of the earth. Don't follow the politics too closely in your neck of the woods. But this madman has so much innocent blood on his hands it just boggles my mind. I love that. The company decided to squeeze an extra day of work out of you, and ended up just having to pay for you guys to party. However, I'm worried that if your company would suddenly decide to have you guys work on Christmas and New Year's Eve, what's to stop them from also deciding that next year, company parties must be held outside of office hours? Nice. I knew a restaurant owner that had a union staff. A couple weeks out he told his employees that he would close the restaurant Christmas Eve and they filed a grievance on him. They said if you close the restaurant you still have to pay us for the day. He said if I got to pay you then you might as well be at work then. Then they were pissed because they were open on Christmas Eve. I just knew this was the Philippines after reading the term special working holiday. I'm surprised there are unions here parlor. Musical note we're gonna fight for your right to p a a a a a a a a a a a r t y musical note. My work scheduled me to go in at 4:30 a.m. Christmas Eve. After working until 7 p.m. the night before, I've had three hours of sleep and I'm leaving for work in 30 minutes. I already told them straight up I'm going to be tired as fuck. There is no reason to have me there that early, and they are not going to get me at the top of my game. I will be purely in survival mode. I'm not quite understanding the president's intentions here. They've designated the day as a special working holiday, but you still need to go to work, and don't get paid extra. How is that different to any other working day? So instead of an office party disrupting half of what would normally be a full day of work, they got you all to move it to what would normally be a day off. Are you sure you're the winners in this situation? Wait. Your president decides when the people work. Why is it whenever one of these posts from a different country comes up the op doesn't just say the name of the freaking country? You're not going to DOXX India or France guys you don't have to hide a country of millions. Non-working day. Special working holiday. Karaoke. 100% the Philippines. Kamusta ka. In the Air Force the base commander is allowed to give everyone a half day but not a full day off. Every year the final working day is celebrated with each squadron's department, Christmas party with a champagne breakfast, then head off at midday. I've only ever worked in a hospital, so holidays are kind of strange to me. Man, I would be pissed if my company pulled that. I had a contractor call me today telling me that he'll be up working at one of my towers tomorrow, 24th here in yesterday land. I'm like nope. Told him he could work if he chooses to but I wouldn't be, and on call wouldn't be happy. Doubtful on call would support him either for non-emergency. Contract company is new to working with us. It'd be one thing if I was on call chest deep in shit creek flood with the water rising, and he was the on call for his company. But nope not an emergency, go home enjoy some rest my dude, this can wait till next week. Why not mention the name if the country? I told my subordinate that he couldn't leave early. Then told him I was leaving early, and wouldn't be there to rat him out if he left early after me. Is the president you mentioned Rodrigo Duterte? I think more malicious compliant would multiple Xmas parties of all departments in one week but on different days. So in the end a whole week gets lost, because nothing gets done between departments winking face. 
You make it sound like you decided to have he party on the 24th pretty much last minute. When were you going to have the Christmas party lol? This is the Philippines. I was so annoyed when I read the announcement, and felt bad for the people who don't can't take the day off. Which reminds me, where the fuck is the president today, he'd better be getting shit done for the people who lost everything. Hopefully right after the party you decided to kick the existing union leaders to the curb and vote in better ones that protect your rights. Our company announced that we would be working Christmas Day, and in the same announcement stated that they were a family company, so I asked him if they would be there with us on Christmas. Embarrassed silence followed. We did not work on Christmas. Obviously not smart enough to realize how the work ethics, speed and quality just dropped by 30% for the rest of the entire next year and a very year after that until the lesson is learned. When the clients and customers find out how people are treated, they slowly find other suppliers. The flag has been raised, it's time for every person affected to look for their next employment. An early congratulations on your new job. Opa from PH. I'm typing this while finishing my shift lol. Just from that first sentence, I'm a say you're Filipino lol. Last year our company's client decided, screw you all, and strictly encouraged us to work during Christmas Eve, with any requests for holiday leave being rejected. Failure to go to work will be considered work avoidance and would lead to harsh penalties not just salary-wise, but also under compliance. I don't want a whistleblow under the risk of losing my job and being blacklisted from applying to other companies. What's the point of getting people on for a half day on 24th? Even without the Christmas party, nobody is doing any valuable work on that day. Joy to the WORTLD.